Hey guys, and welcome to the Black Wolf Division. In this video today, we'll be exploring making our own 3D printed Nerf dart heads. Heads for our Nerf darts. Or heads for our, not, not for our bodies. That would be even bigger. So a long time ago, the story begins with my journey making darts a long time ago. I made this dart as a kid, and uh, my method was I took milk cartons, anything plastic that I could easily melt, and I melted it into a little piece of metal that had this little cone on it. And uh, well, that's how I made my Nerf darts. They weren't quite heavy enough, but if I add a little bit of duct tape around it, they had enough weight. I wouldn't suggest that because the fumes were terrible and a whole lot of years later I've come back and wanted to revisit this project and make something that's a little bit easier to make and hopefully not one so <coughs> toxic! So for this one we'll be we'll be using pretty much the same thing we'll be using foam backer rod, half inch foam backer rod in this case I got this from Lowe's you can get it from Amazon, you can get it from Home Depot you can get it from Ace Hardware you can probably even get it from Walmart so just about anywhere you can get it from I went into the awesome design space called Tinkercad. Lazy me just designing something and I haven't taken the time to learn a proper 3D design yet, so forgive me. So designing my own Nerf Dart head. The idea behind it was I'll take a shape similar to Nerf Dart head, I'll put a little triangular space in it side to create kind of a little lighters and maybe it will deform a little bit on impact. Next I added a threaded piece to the end of the dart. The idea behind the threaded piece is then it could so it could thread into the foam instead of just relying on glue only like this one did. Now I printed these out of PLA, I had to get that right. I tried doing one out of PTG but I didn't have the temperature set right so it broke. The main thing I'm looking for with these darts is actually used in Nerf blow guns. I'm only going to use a very basic blow gun to test this out, probably. But I hope to visit that in the future and make a cool blow gun. Don't tell anybody. Well, you could tell somebody. What you can also do is hit the subscribe button and watch future videos and more videos we've already made. So, anyways. These are scissors. This is foam back a rod. This is a ruler. For this test, I am cutting the darts to, well, let's say one inch, or thereabouts. Actually, it's one inch. If I put my scissors in the right spot, I need to practice scissors. If you notice there's no holes in the center, these won't fit a standard Nerf dart that has not Nerf gun that hasn't been modified. Some of my favorite guns to shoot these out of are more like a revolver type gun, like the Maverick or I think the Strong Arm. Uh, you might be able to shoot out some other things as well, like if you have any, like a magazine fed that is modified. Okay, here's the dart, here's the blow gun, it fits. It works, sounds like something broke. Okay, so a funny story, that dart didn't work. Sad part is it actually broke the layers, which probably means I did not have it hot enough and the screw part broke too, so the glue is needed. I got the gun! Actually, I got the hot glue gun. It's hot, heat it up, hot it up, heat it up. Why well, was I gonna say hot it up? Well anyways, I'm gonna really use this dart that I used from the last one. And I'll apply the hot glue. It's a beautiful dart in my opinion. I added a little bit of high glue that's hanging on the side. Again, shooting at the wall at 15 feet with a blowgun. Such a brilliant idea. We'll see if it breaks it. Hey, it bounced back to me. That one did not break. Yay! Don't use a dart like this. If the head breaks off of it and you just end up with this V-shape, it would seriously hurt. Uh, don't use it. It left a mark on the wall. Shh, don't tell my wife. Yep, it is. Okay. And I need the diameter of this to be less than half inch. 
and at the cone of shame. I want it very short, very small. I want it to be like point one. I had the new heads uh, ready to print. Uh, I'll try them out since uh, this print job is done that's running back there. Again, I'm not going to let you know what that print is until a future video. So, if you want to see that future video, you know what you can do? You can hit the subscribe button right down there. Printed off these originally in PETG because that's what I had. I have sent them gotten PLA, so I'll be doing some. I'll be actually doing most of mine in PLA probably. Actually, it's PLA plus. Uh, but two different designs. One is a sharper angle angle to it, uh, which may help it feed better. Uh, for guns that have to have some sort of feeding mecha mechanism, and then there's this beveled one. I'm going to glue these to a dart uh, to the full backer on. We'll give it a test. And I think it's probably better to put your hot glue directly on your 3D printed dart head, mainly because it's not going to get as affected by the heat. Versus if your hot glue gun is too hot when you're making these darts, uh, in my experience, it will shrink the foam or deform the foam and will be quite a mess. So. The head is slightly longer on this one. It's a little more of a, a little sharper of a bevel. This is a little more rounded and blunted. I'll show you a shot of where the box is. I'm gonna shoot it right now. I got my trusty blow gun. That was the rounded head. So this one is the sharper angle one. Good news, no issues with them breaking like the, uh, the previous designs. So that's really good. I'm shooting off the uh, blunted round one again. Now this is the sharper angle one. I am feeling like the blunted round one has a little more energy. I think it might have a little more weight. I have, don't really have a precise scale to weigh it, so yeah, this just seems to have more impact than this one. There we go. It held up to a few good shots. No issues with breaking at all. So again, if uh, if you want to try these out, I'm going to place the STL file. I think either in the description or on my blog. Uh, and for now they're going to be free. Eventually I may end up putting a section to sell the files for a slight fee just to help support the channel. But for now it's free so enjoy and uh, please give this video a thumbs up and if you have any thoughts or ways to improve this that you would like to see, uh, please leave those in the description or if you if you've had fun using these or any of the above, would love to hear from you and uh, we'll see you in the next video.